Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm sitting here with a Bamboo Lab P1 series printer. Today, we are going to go over cleaning the rods and lead screws. You may follow along on a P1S or an X1C. Now, you are going to hear all kinds of chatter on the interwebs about the intervals in which you should do this. And you might be asking yourself, I wonder what Mr. Rundown is going to tell me. Here are the facts. This printer has 1,836 hours on it, and this is the first time I am cleaning or lubricating the printer. Take that information for whatever you will. In order to do this, we will grab ourselves a few supplies. One dollar store can of compressed air, one 99% IPA, one bottle of Super Lube, ISO 68, part number 52004. One giant tube of Lucas Oil White Lithium Grease, part number NGLI number two. A roll of Scott's Blue Shop Cloth. You, you can find these at the Mart of Wall and Amazon. Speaking of the Mart of Wall, you may also get this high quality Zep spray bottle because there are few things in life more frustrating than working with a cheap IPA spray bottle. One of those things I can think of is the shopping carts at my local Goodwill. This spray bottle is also available at the Mart of Wall and I will link all of these to Amazon. You might notice my Dollar Tree spray duster. Bamboo Lab does suggest you blow out the extruder gear. Here on the side of the extruder, you will spot this yellow gear. Place your straw inside the hole. And give it a little blow. That will make Bamboo Lab happy because they suggest you do this. However, I'm more interested in getting the crud and bits of filament out of these little holes at the base of your rods. Because I haven't done this in forever, I'm going to use my Scott's Blue Shop Cloth and wipe down each of these rods. Don't forget, we've got one hiding here in the back. And it too is disgusting. Isn't that lovely? With our rods in much better shape, let's bring our bed up. Navigate here, navigate to Z, press OK, and go all the way up. It may refuse because you have not homed. Don't worry, just press OK and let it home. With the bed homed, it is now up at the top for you. Take advantage of this to grab that little section that was covered by the bed. And you will get even more filth. Grab your white lithium grease. I'm going to cut mine flush with a Bowden cutter. Slap on a rubber glove. I use Grease Monkey from the Mart of Wall. They are strong, textured, never rip, and just do a really nice job. They're also not too horribly uncomfortable to wear. It's a good fit. These are large. Just dab it on with the tube. I'm going to dab it on with the tube and just get it in there with my finger. Or maybe just put some on my finger because I like to make a mess and dab it on there. TBH, the old tube method, works just fine.
we won't be able to spread it up and down very well. It's just going to kind of go into the threads, but that's perfectly okay. Don't go overboard. Just a wee bit. None of these giant blobs, all right, guys? And now back here on the screen, we are going to use this controller and push down. Just holding down, let the bed go all the way down, and oh, how kind of it to help spread this lubricant for us. If your threads were really bad, consider giving them another wipe with the blue towel. That lubricant and that movement will help get more crud off those threads. I have the threads between my two fingers and just giving it a little rub, and then I'm pushing the front, then I'm wrapping my fingers around the back. All kinds of crud still coming off. Now, go ahead and do a fresh new dab of lubricant. You can just haphazardly dab it on like this, or use your finger and work it in a little bit, which is nice because it gets that excess off rather than having these bulbous blobs on your Z-Rods. And it's possible that I just wanted to use the word bulbous. If you could use the word bulbous in a sentence, go into the description or the comments here in this video, whatever, and, and use the word bulbous in a sentence. That'll score you 500 fake, made up worthless 3D rundown points. We've got fresh blobs of the lubricant and we are now going to bring the bed back up by simply homing. I will press the back arrow, press right to the home icon, and press OK twice. Are you sure you want to home? Yes. You'll now notice the print bed is returning to the top. And in doing so, will help spread that lubricant onto this Z-Rod. If you see excessive buildup on the top, now is a good time to go ahead and grab some of that. Our next move is to clean the tool head rod, this Z-Rod. Mine is so gross, you can physically feel how gross it is. Bamboo Lab suggests you loosen the belt tensioners on the back side of the printer. I never suggest touching the belt tension on any printer unless there is a need. Of course, Bamboo Lab also suggests you haphazardly spray this whole thing down getting IPA all over your belts. Do not do this. Use your IPA bottle or put it in a ZEP spray bottle and soak a Scott's Blue shop cloth. Turn the printer off. This will disable your steppers and allow you to move the print head. Wipe down this rod and this rod on both sides. Get this section really wet with IPA and run your tool head over it. Wipe it down. Get it nice and wet again, wet, wet, wet with IPA. It won't last long and do it again. Once you're done, Wipe down the entire rod. Don't be shy, your printer can take it. Have you seen the abuse your printer takes when it's running? These rods should have a clean feel to them. And your print head should move smoothly. If you have any doubts, make it nice and wet and do it again. Nothing else is going to touch these rods. Now we are going to move on to the Y rods. That's these shiny ones right here. You can just run your blue shop cloth just in front of it. Oh, would you look at that? Push your print head. Do it again. I'm going to wrap my finger around, kind of, kind of cup it. 
and wipe it down. And you'll see the filth. This is a clean towel. And now what we need to do is get some oil on this so it doesn't rust. I'm going to cut it with a PTFE cutter and put some oil on my blue cloth. Keep in mind, we are using this oil not so much as a lubricant, but as an anti-rusting agent. I'm gonna push it forward a little more on the towel because the towel is absorbing a lot of it, to be honest, right? The towel is taking a lot of it up. The second time, the towel will absorb less because it's already absorbed the first dose. And we're gonna move it back. Let's do the same on the other side. Clean her up, move it forward. Clean her up. Oil on the towel. I'm going to avoid getting oil on the belts. Nice and smooth. She should move nice and smooth. Go ahead and clean your bed down with some IPA or whatever your method is. Be sure your bed is safe to use IPA on. Most beds are safe to use with IPA. However, the non-glacier version of this bed is not safe to use with IPA. Clean off any blobs that you may see on the Z-screws. Once you're done, turn the printer back on and run a full calibration. To do the full calibration, simply scroll down two times, press OK, press down to highlight calibration, press OK, and press Yes. The machine will begin a full auto calibration. And we're done. We have successfully cleaned and lubricated the lead screws and access rods on our bamboo printer. Now that I'm finished, I can put my toxic masculinity away by putting the shirt back on and getting back to work. I'm Mr. Greg. This is a P1P and you're on 3D Rundown.